More breaking news coming in. Firing in the Samba sector has been reported at a regional post. One soldier of uh, the BSF has reportedly died and uh, one soldier has also been injured. This is uh, the latest breaking news that we are getting at this point in time. Uh, firing uh, in the Samba sector currently underway at a regal post. One soldier of the BSF has reportedly lost his life and another soldier has been injured. Deputy Editor Shiv Arur is joining me live for more on the story. Shiv, take us through the latest. Uh, the information that we have at this point, uh, Rishika, is that firing has happened uh, at the international border at uh, the Regal Post, uh, which is manned by the Border Security Force uh, in the Samba sector of uh, Jammu. Remember, uh, just two to three months ago, uh, there had been heavy, uh, you know, heavy casualties in the Arnia sector of Jammu as well, and more recently uh, in Aknur. Uh, day before yesterday, there was a ceasefire violation in Aknur uh, after at least two to three weeks of a lull. Now remember, in the August to October period, the maximum number of ceasefire violations have actually taken place uh, on the international border in the Aknur Samba uh, uh, Jammu sector. Uh, now this particular incident, uh, the information we have right now is that one BSF uh, Jawan manning that particular post has been killed. The precise circumstances of the firing uh, is not clear right now. We're assuming that this is uh, Pakistani Rangers firing, right. but we're still to get details uh, in. We also have a confirmation that one BSF soldier uh, has been injured in this firing. Prima first, it appears to be a ceasefire violation. We're awaiting confirmation from the Home Ministry. Right. Also, Shiv, uh, like you've been pointing out, sketchy details emerging at this point in time, but is this perhaps some kind of an infiltration bid uh, because of which the firing is in fact taking place? Quite possibly, Rishi. Uh, remember that uh, when when firing takes place, especially uh, especially if it's uh, unprovoked, and it usually is unprovoked, especially on the international border, uh, it's usually to divert attention away from uh, you know a neighbouring sector where there may be an infiltration attempt. Uh, remember between between July and November this year, there were at least 11 infiltration attempts across the international border. Remember that uh, infiltrations and infiltration attempts always usually always happen uh, on the line of control, right. uh, usually in the Kupwara and Poonch sectors, these are the highways of infiltration, if, uh, uh, which, the, uh, which is the name that the army right. gives those two locations. Uh, but the disturbing trend has been that there have been uh, regular infiltration attempts even uh, uh, across the international border. Remember, even the Arnia uh, infiltration of terrorists, which uh, you know panned out right. into a big encounter in a bunker, was an infiltration across the international border. So it's a disturbing trend. We'll have to see whether this one is coupled with an infiltration attempt. Right. Uh, thanks, Shri, for joining us with that update. To put this in perspective, the army is also sound an infiltration alert in Jammu and Kashmir. The army has said that, uh, uh, at that 170 Pakistan-based terrorists are waiting to sneak in uh, at this point in time. Uh, this is firing in the Samba sector continues at the Regal Post. One soldier of the BSF has reportedly uh, lost his life and one more has been injured. Also joining me live uh, at this point in time is my colleague Ashraf Vani. Ashraf, what are the details that you can share with us at this point in time? Yeah, basically, this is something alarming. What the GOC, General Officer Commanding of the Chinar Corps, based here in Srinagar, said that at least 160 to 170 terrorists are on launching pads across the LOC and who are desperate for infiltration. Basically, we have not seen that quantum of snow in the month of December, right. what usually is being seen in the December. So, there are little chances that these uh, terrorists can make infiltration bids or infiltration attempts from the line of control here in the Kashmir Valley. But the Army General also briefed that there are elaborate security arrangements on the line of control and right. they are in a position to uh, to curb these kinds of infiltration attempts by the terrorists. But just we are just seeing as you are talking about the ceasefire violation in the Samba sector where one BSF Jawan has lost life and another one is injured. Clearly shows that there are desperate attempts by the terrorists this online of control even on international borders right. to get infiltrated into the human control state and All that right. is something concerned. Thanks, Ashraf, for joining us uh, with those details. Ashraf and Shiv are going to continue to track developments on this story and we, of course, will be breaking it to you first here on Headlines Today.